Welcome back to Mind Pump TV, guys. Today we are going to talk about how old you should be to start lifting, should you start lifting if you're younger, and kind of break down some common myths in the fitness industry regarding youth athletics and youth resistance training. Let's get into it. Lifting weights stunts your growth. I've heard this a million times. It's been perpetuated for decades. And there's not a lot of evidence to support this. In fact, if you just think critically, lifting weights elevates testosterone, the hormone that helps build muscle. It elevates growth hormone, which helps with recovery. And both of those help with growth. So simply beginning a weightlifting routine, there's not a lot of reasons for our body to stunt our vertical growth. The idea that like having a heavy weight on your bar is somehow going to smush you down and make you smaller is pretty unreasonable. So I think you can pursue weight training and resistance training in the absence, right, of fear. You shouldn't be worried about not getting tall. I think that's kind of an old wives tale. So let's put that to the side. So we've killed the myth of lifting weights and, and working out, stunting, early growth. Now let's talk about a checklist, things you need to consider if you're young and you want to start lifting weights. The first thing you got to have is some degree of coordination and stability. When you're young, we grow really fast, right? You might go into the eighth grade and be four foot five, and then your freshman year of high school, you might be five foot eight. Kids grow really, really fast. And when they do that, there's a lot of coordination and a lot of stability that needs to be developed, right? Because you can be a little bit uncoordinated. It's not uncommon to see that in preteens and teens. So making sure that you foster good movement, doing things like push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, body weight training, speed training, playing sports is huge. Doing things that really build a foundation of coordination and stability. If you're finding that you've got all of those things checked, all those boxes checked, you're moving good, you've done a fair amount of body weight training, there's no reason in my mind that you can't start resistance training. Doing weight training with things like barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells. Hopefully you have access to these things. If you're in high school, maybe you have a gym, maybe you're on a sports team. If not, you can definitely talk to your parents about getting you involved at a local gym, perhaps even getting you a trainer to help teach you the basics. Because again, once the stability is in check, once you've started lifting, you've got to focus on a few things. The first one is getting in the big lifts. You want to be doing things like lunges, squats, presses, deadlifts or rows or pull-ups, things like that. Things that hit a lot of muscles all at once. That's going to give you the most bang for your buck, and it's going to give you the best opportunity to build strength, to build lean tissue, and to start to build a foundation for a healthy life in very early age. Lifting weights in your youth can be one of the best habits to start. And if you start doing something young, the likelihood of sticking with it is much, much higher. Now, having trained a lot of youth athletes and just a lot of young people in general, there are a few mistakes that a lot of them make and they'll really, really hold you back. And so here's the ones I want to cover. The first is not eating the right food. If you're lifting weights and you're training hard, you got to eat decently. Okay. So focus on your protein. Try to get most of your foods from whole natural sources and cut the junk. Okay. You don't want a ton of garbage. Second thing, not hydrating. I remember when I was young, I used to do a lot of juice, a lot of soda, there's a lot of energy drinks. That stuff's fine and it's probably not going to kill you, but it's certainly not going to be something you want to get into the habit of doing for the rest of your life. So if you're young and you're watching this and you're drinking all that crap, focus on things like water, okay? Just start there. That should be the bulk of your hydration, should be water. The other thing, supplements. Kids always want to take supplements. And if you go into a supplement store, You'll notice they're all labeled and poppy and they flash and they really catch the eye. And that's how marketers and advertisers have advertised to children for decades. Bright colors, shiny and all that stuff. So young people typically think that supplements are going to be the answer. And I can tell you quite frankly, they're not. I usually don't have my youth clients taking any supplements at all just because there's so much work we can do with diet and hydration to cover all your bases. So no supplements, cut the junk, try to focus on your water. And then in terms of the gym, 
you got to be progressing. So a lot of people will go into the gym and just mess around, but you should be focusing on a few lifts that you can do really well and just plain getting stronger. Just pick the lifts you do well. Make sure there's a balance of lifts that hit the upper and lower body and get stronger on those over time. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't try to copy people. Don't do stuff that you see on Instagram or even YouTube. I know I'm on YouTube telling you that. I want you guys to focus on some basic stuff. Don't go falling down the rabbit holes and picking 50 different exercises. Pick the basic stuff. Squats, lunges, deadlifts, pushes, and pulls. Get stronger at them over time. You will be fine. Last and perhaps most important tip I have for you guys is this. Be what I call a skeptical sponge. And what I mean by that is ask a ton of questions. Learn as much as you can from anybody who's teaching you anything about health and fitness. If something doesn't make sense, ask a question. If the answer doesn't make sense, make a point to do some research, right? Be a learner. Health and fitness is a long process and there's a lot of crap out there. So if you're younger, I encourage you to be a sponge, learn as much as you can, but also be skeptical. If something doesn't make sense or you want to know a little bit further, do your research. Try to stay away from less than ideal sources. Focus on things that are evidence-based. Look for things written by trainers, perhaps even things written by PhDs, doctors, strength coaches, people who've been doing this a long time. Stay away from the Instagram models, the people who are directly selling stuff, and just look to learn, absorb, and grow. That'll help you out a lot. And if you're looking for stuff to read right now, check out mindpumpfree.com. We've got tons of guides. We've got tons of blogs. And I actually think that listening to the podcast would be a fantastic option for you in terms of developing a well-rounded approach to how you lift.